look, listen, and read. The next day was awful. Babu's family could not stop crying. Nipa and grandfather were gone. Babu's father went out to look for them. He found Nipa in a field. She was holding onto a tree and she was covered in mud. She didn't remember anything. He took Nipa at home and began looking for his father. He looked in the fields, the buildings and the trees. Many people in Bangladesh were missing after Cyclone Isla. And Babu's grandfather was one of them. The family never found him. After Cyclone Isla, people worked together. Nipa school became the shelter for the survivors. Babul and his family went to live in the school. The government of Bangladesh and workers from NGOs came to help. But things were very hard. There wasn't enough safe drinking water or food, so many people became ill. In time, people repaired their homes and rebuilt their villages and bridges. They planted new trees and new crops in their fields. Babu feels happy when he looks at the trees and his sister, Nipa. But he feels sad about his grandfather. His grandmother says, Don't be sad, Babu. Grandfather wants us to live for the future. Read the fifth and sixth paragraphs of Activity D from your textbook. Answer the questions in the next slide. 1. What happened to Babu's grandfather? 2. What became the shelter for the survivors? 3. Who came to help the survivors after Cyclone Isla?